Hello people on the internet, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, and a happy 2023 to you all. Um, actually, I'm recording this on New Year's Eve, so I can get ahead and not swamp myself with stuff right as uh, next week kicks in, but nonetheless, happy 2023 to you all. Um, new look here on the channel, very pink, pink and orange this year instead of green, but um, first video of the year, um, actually... This one has a little bit of a story behind it because uh, I got in last night at around 2.30 a.m. from my adventure out during Christmas break. And I wanted to... Well, I got in at 2.30, took a shower because I felt icky and gross, had a little midnight snack. Was getting ready to brush my teeth and go to bed when I clicked on YouTube and saw that Giu had done a cover a little special clip and usually I'd say oh I can I can watch that first thing in the morning um, but then I saw what song she was covering and I couldn't help myself I tried recording a reaction at 3 in the morning last night and I could not put a sentence together to save my life last night I also don't remember much of the song because I was so sleep deprived and delirious but we're back again gonna try again and hopefully I can actually formulate a sentence because Miss Chiyu Karisma Toki has done a cover of Yuna's Event Horizon uh, um, if you haven't watched the year-end ranking video that I did a hot minute ago well technically yesterday um, you would know that this was my soloist song of the year last year. And luckily for me, everyone and their mothers has done a rendition of this. Umbi Racket Umbi doing it. Um, Eugene sung it on a on an Instagram clip back in day. Let me actually check real quickly because I'm pretty sure we've watched another person sing it. If not... Okay, maybe I'm misremembering but that's perfectly fine so many people have sung it and i still absolutely adore the song and the fact that we got gu sing it kind of has me intrigued for a few reasons look at that orange and yellow and pink now the original uh yuna's voice is very unique in that she has this very velvety rich powerful tone throughout her entire register. Jiu, on the other hand, has a very opposite tone. Her voice is more airy and delicate and almost dainty, like even when she does put some power in behind her higher end vocals. So I'm curious to see how this cover turns out. But I rambled en enough. So here we go. Miss G, what do you got for us? And 4K. Oh, I love this song so much. I just need to learn the guitar part for this. I know the chords for it. I don't know the thing of uh, the actual melody part. <laughs> Immediately off the bat, you can tell Jiu's dainty voice kicking into full gear. to objectify people or like comment on people based on their looks but how does Jiu look like borderline younger than she did when she debuted here it's been six years almost since Dreamcatcher debuted and she looks arguably as young as she's ever looked in this and it blows my mind she doesn't age anyways Yeah. That comment I made about her airy dainty voice at the higher end, definitely, I expected right. I 
I still love this song, though. Yeah, her, um... It's probably one of the most different covers I've heard from a female artist because her vocal color is so different from Yuna's original. Close on the match cut there. the outro play out before I start talking, but I know historically Dreamcatcher special clips I ha I've reacted one way or the other like with um with Tommy and Yu Hyun's uh, cover of Billie Eilish's NDA I wasn't all that hot on mainly because they stuck so close with the original, which, again, I didn't... I appreciate the fact that they did go out of their way to try and recreate as much of the original as possible. I'm just not a big fan of the original song, which kind of ruined the special clip for me. Nothing against them, of course. But, you know, I can't, I can't like everything, right? This one... I do like because one the song but two it's the cover itself isn't anything revolutionary it's just we don't really get to hear kind of like a full on like melodical piece from G all that often I feel like like she gets her moments in Dreamcatcher songs to like show off her vocal chops and stuff but when you have a group with Yu Hyun and Shion as like kind of one-two punching in the vocal department, you kind of have to concede like a vocal position to them in a way. And if you look at kind of Dreamcatcher as a group dynamic in terms of their vocal color, you can kind of range it based off of, say like an X and Y of like, you have the y-axis of like airy to rich and then you have the x-axis being low to high range in terms of like musical scale Giu probably ranks in the airy delicate and high ranged voice and frankly if i had to like assign a position on the graph she probably has the most delicate voice out of everyone in the group which makes it all the more interesting that she decided to cover a Yuna song. Because Yuna's voice is very rich and velvety and smooth across her entire vocal register. And that, again, this is nothing against Jiu's voice per se. This is just a very different vo voice singing a song that was written for a again almost an entirely opposite vocal color if that makes sense but it doesn't feel that out of place so i commend her on that because this song i've again has been covered by so many people it is hard to match yuna's original that that goes to show also how just how talented yuna is with her vocal skills 
but very little, if not no one, has reached the level of Yuna's voice when singing Event Horizon. She's going to song. But I'm not saying that Giyu has done it, but she's gotten very close in the way that she's embracing the fact that it's a cover. She's not trying to make it her own. She's embracing the fact that she is singing someone else's song and just putting her voice on the melody. It's not transposed. The instrumental hasn't been changed. I think it's actually one verse shorter. But apart from that, it's pretty much original. It's like she's at a norebang. And like it is with pretty much every single Dreamcatcher like special clip in recent memory... There isn't too much done to it that isn't straying from the original. Even with the even with this ninety sevens line NDA cover, it's keeping true to the original. And I while I would be interested to see what like a modified, like personalized version would be, I also very much appreciate that they're sticking true to the original, if that makes sense. Or his transition again. Honestly, when this dropped last night, I was. I could not help myself. I tried to watch it and react to it. I was so loopy last night, y'all. You don't understand. But I'm kind of glad I waited until today to actually properly do it again. Because I most certainly wouldn't have remembered anything. And just what a good way to start the day, you know? It's I love the song so much. I love Jiu so much. I love Dreamcatcher so much. Have I mentioned I really like this group yet? <laughs> Anyways, that's it from me today. 2023 and we're back with the rambling. Business as usual, am I right? Uh, but anyways, if you want to check out more from me, channel icon is up there. You can find the back catalog of stuff we watched in the past. Drop a subscription if you want to keep up to date with whenever I upload new videos. And if you want to watch another video of mine right away, YouTube recommends you watch that video down there. And until next time, bye-bye.